Hey, what's going on, family? The Muse here, of course. Thank you for being part of the Pay the Artist Club. Um, I just wanted to do this video real quick um, to provide value. Um, I know I've been a little absent recently. Um, you know, a couple things going on in the family and then had some health stuff uh, following immediately behind that. So I was kind of out of it, you know, not all the way there for really like the last three weeks um, all together. So, but rested for the most part, healed back at it. So wanted to talk to you guys and gals and non-binaries about um, putting things together so we can continue to grow our business, right? So what I wanted to talk to you about is something that's perfect for the holiday time. Um, I still do and will kind of go over what you guys are doing for Black Friday. I'm curious about that. I want to kind of help you come up with some strategies and everything. If you are planning to launch something for a campaign, revisit something you already had, um, you know, maybe package some things together differently that may not have been together before at all. Maybe, you know, you know you're putting together some bundles or whatever the case may be. Um, but we'll talk about that later. What I want to talk about now is launching a charity initiative. So um, you might have seen before, if not, go back and check. Uh, one of the reels that I posted was about the benefits of uh, working with charitable organizations and how they can really one patch your pocket, uh, boost up your CV and get you into circles that you might not have been in before because you might not have access to these people or they might not just see you in that certain way. The introduction matters, you know. If one friend introduces you to somebody versus a different friend who's more respectable, uh, has a higher social status or, or they just liked more about the, the person that, um, you wanted them to introduce you to is going to be received better than somebody introducing them that they don't like. Um, it's definitely going to rub off on you. So we want to make sure we're coming in in the right situation and we're using whatever leverage that we have. So we're going to launch a charity initiative and I'm going to go over, this is going to be a two part video. Otherwise it's, I'm going to be, I'm still not a hundred percent about, but 80 to 85 ish so um someone got full energy you can kind of go 100 for a short, certain amount of time and then i need to you know get some water get some rest and all that back again but um it's gonna be two parts i'm gonna go over half of it now and then we'll go over half of it uh next week so so number one you have to take notes yes you have to take notes i did not make slides so I don't have any slides to send you um, I typically very rarely do that anyway a lot of this is uh, proprietary information so you know kind of get it when it's being delivered or you can check back in with me as long as you're in the club so but number one first step of course is choose a cause you might want to do these in order. You can mix them around if you want, but to simplify it, to not have to rack your brain about everything, you might want to do these in order. Choose a cause first. So don't worry about who I'm going to do something with. Like, that would be a lot easier to figure out once you figure out the cause. So again, let's go in order. Y'all grown. Y'all don't have to do what I just recommend. But, you know, it's trial and error. And I already done, done had the errors and went through the trials and I learned and I could save you some time. Choose a cause. Determine which charitable cause you want to support through your initiative. And consider selecting a cause that aligns with your artistic values um, or your personal experiences. Something you actually you know, believe in or want to stand behind is it's gonna be that much easier to do. And you it's it's not easy to fake passion. So 
they're gonna hear it when you contacting them, especially when you get the subsequent, you know, follow up emails and meetings and all of that about putting this together. If you're not passionate about it, it they're gonna be able to tell. So choose something you are passionate about first, right? So like, for example, um, I just created a new relationship with, um, what are they called? Jazz for prostate cancer. I don't, I don't, I don't have any cancer, but um, I'm, I'm coming upon that time where I gotta, I gotta check, you know, some things. Um, just going down the list and everything. I know I'm aging well and all that, but you, you know, I black do. So, but I'm, I'm getting there and we gotta get, make sure we healthy. So um, that's kind of been one of the things that's on my mind. And my biggest thing is art and wellness. So just going on to the healthness anyway, like I'm already passionate about this field. Um, I'm already been trying to help men, black men in particularly, you know, in particular. Um, and we have probably the biggest stigma um, about that whole thing. And, you know, and there's ways to do it now without being invasive and all of that stuff. So, um, but just that education is not there. So filling in those gaps. So contacting these people, letting them know my passion behind it, why I'm into, you know, these things like this is also going to benefit me. So not only people I know, but me personally and personal interest is very believable all the time. So if you have a story that directly connects to it or a family member was involved in something or, you know, let's say you you want to do something with like juvenile justice because somebody was railroaded that you know as a kid or your brother went in at 14 and got a life sentence or whatever the case may be like find something you're connected to it's personal for you you're passionate about find a cause first when you find a cause you can just google organizations that serve this cause and then you're gonna get a whole list and then you can get the context of those lists and then contact them and all of that, right? And we'll get into exactly like what you would send them and stuff like that on the next talk. I don't know what's gonna be the next video. I don't know if I'm gonna do it during, you know, when we actually get together in the next meeting, or whatever, but I actually might do these. I might just kind of do this. I think this might be the best way to serve everybody without having to worry about people's schedules and you know, um, it's a new season, changing up a couple of things. I might just, I might just do that. I think that, I mean, there's stuff will live forever, but whatever. I'm not really worried about that. There's always more paint, no matter how many paintings you make, right? I'm, I'm creative. I'm not really worried about running out of shit. Um, so that's number one. So second thing you want to do. So the first one was choose your cause. Second one was set your goals. You need to know the goals um, and you can work this out with the organization because they're going to have goals as well. So you can see, you know, what goals are we going for, but you should come with some of your own goals, period, whether it be a dollar amount, whether it be X amount of attendees, whether in person or virtual, whether it be certain amount of contact informations or you know you have to figure out what your kpis are going to be what your key performance indicators are going to be because this is it's part of business so we need to be able to monitor that um, so we can make whatever adjustments we need to make in the future and you want to show them you're serious about this and so you can do it again so you're not just keep running from organization to organization maybe you can do one at all of them but they're going to want to know what the objective is and so they can know whether they hit it or not. So define your specific goals for your charity initiative um, and list that, right? So the next part would be planning. Be planning a project. I'm just noticing. Yeah, this I'm not giving you the finger. This is just, you know, this is my ring. This is my middle finger rings. Um Playing your project. So consider how you're gonna engage your audience.
consider who your audience is going to be, right? It'll help with figuring out how you're gonna engage them because different people want different things. Are you doing an exhibition? Are you doing a workshop? You know, like, what's your project? How is this going to look? Network, Q and A's, a panel, you know, like, what is this? Is it a, a game night? Like, how does this look? Cause you can't just be like, yeah, I want to do a fundraiser with you guys. It's like, okay. Are we raising the funds? Like, how does this look? For a painter is one of the most popular ones, which, you know, is timeless. We, we still knocking them out. It's been seven years strong. Um, Painting set fundraisers. Essentially, once you have, like, the hardware stuff that you don't have to keep buying every time, you're only paying basically like five or six dollars per person and you're charging 35 40 dollars per person and splitting the proceeds some way typically um i do 60 40 me 60 because i bought the supplies and 40 to the gallery or whatever entity that we're doing the event in for them to fundraise. You know, so, um, you know, if it's two, if we raise two grand or whatever, they get 800 bucks or something like that. Which is two grand. If you're doing like 40 a pop for a paint and sip or something like that. And actually, if it's a fundraiser, you can ask a little more, especially if you're throwing the food in there, because people know it's to raise funds. So they kind of expect and prepare to pay a little more than what it would be, because they know out of all proceeds, a portion of this is going, you know, to the event or whatever. So they don't mind paying a little more, especially if it's only a little more. Like I'll go, like I'm going on Tuesday, actually, um, to a fundraising event, a, a retiree, a retire party. Um, Danny Simmons retiring party, actually. And, you know, it's $100 a watt. It's, the party itself ain't gonna be worth no damn, 100 damn dollars. But I know it, it might be worth somewhere around 30, 35, but, um, the rest of the money is going to the call, so it's known. So you can charge more. If you want to charge that much more, depending on the organization, you know, on the draw, you might be able to get that, you might not be. Really what you want to do is find the organizations, like, I mean, pretty much all of them, that are nonprofit at least, are fundraising at some point in time, and you just kind of figure out where you can get in. If they have fundraisers going on already, how can you add an art element to it? Um, or how can you do a, a separate, you know, a ind individual fundraising event based on your art with them? So they still sending this to their list of donors, you know, and volunteers and patrons and all of that stuff. So yes, you're marketing, um, but they're kind of taking care of most of that for you. So you're really just providing art and or the service and then making whatever the money can be. And again, make sure you go back and check that last reel when I was talking about the benefits because you get paid more than one way by selling the art through the donations and everything, uh, you know, up front in the middle and on the back end when you write it off on the tax because whatever portion that they got is a donation from you. So you get to write that off. So just a reminder you want to get with these, with these people, with these organizations. So choose a cause, set your goals, plan your project 
and if you guys come up with some project ideas and you want to run those by me and you know help like ask me to help you kind of flush those out or whatever we can definitely you know do that in the future um you know I me mean, i just or if you're getting to know me you'll learn i plant the seeds and you know we kind of just keep nurturing and cultivating from there so um and then once you got that down once you guys agreed on what the project is going to be and you have you know all the details of the project when where where who and how um you're going to come up with the promotional materials so you're going to develop promotional materials to spread the word about your charity initiative I mean, I don't know that you would necessarily have to have a dedicated website for that initiative alone, but they, the organization should definitely list it um, kind of as a priority or a highlight or spotlight or something, um, you know, on their homepage. So make sure you have that. So what I would like for you guys to do is choose a cause, come up with five organizations within you know decent driving distance for you like i wouldn't go outside of an hour if you can't find nobody within an hour that's physical choose a different cause like i'm sure you're passionate about more or care about more than one thing choose something else so you want to physically be there and if you want to meet them as many times in person as you can you know because it's about relationship building you don't want to be a one-off. If they don't remember you, if you didn't make an impact, if you know they don't remember any jokes, if y'all didn't get a chance to bond because you didn't have the time, because you didn't meet enough time, and like it's gonna diminish the chances of you being able to do this again, and or be referred to other organizations that they know, because arts administrators kind of running circles and all of that. Like I know a ton of other arts administrators, just like I know a ton of other artists because I'm both. So. I know those circles because um, that's what I am. If I was still playing football and stuff, I probably know a ton of athletes. Like, I would, you know, I mean, I know a ton of former athletes. <laughs> but um, you got to get in and grow. But the key is to get in. So when you come offering something, when you come with, I'm trying to help you make money, that gets you in the meetings a little faster than come in just asking for money and ultimately of course you're going to make money um but you got to get in the door first right so choose a cause set your goals plan your project create your promotional materials and then the next step would be collaborating with others and we'll talk about that in the next video peace